Welcome back, you filthy exiles. Alright, <clears throat> we're going to do something different today. Um, I've been saving up all of my beast uh, crafts, or beast creation, whatever you want to call them. Beast RNG crafts. Anyway, beast recipes. Um, and today, we're going to do all of these. Now, I'll cut this video up so that you don't have to watch me kill all the beasts and we'll see what drops. And, uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll compilate it in the end. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get this shit on the road. Okay, after about, geez, 10 minutes or so, however long that took, um, what I basically realized is beef craft, beast beef crafting, um, <laughs> beast crafting, or uh, beast RNG, whatever you want to call it, is completely dog shit. Um, if we have a look at these drops, they are literally like it, irrespective of the level of the beasts, whether they're in the 80s or whatnot, you know, you might have just gotten a higher item level out of it, but eh. the only redeeming thing about the menagerie, as far as I can see, outside of getting completely lucky and having things like Brothers of the, uh, you know, Mark of the Brotherhoods and and um, was it uh, Headhunters drop, is pretty much only being out of chance your way through and get and craft unique maps out of it or chance unique maps out of it that's pretty much all I can see as being the advantage of using the menagerie anyway as far as the map mod goes uh, on the Zana missions is it really worth it well debatable maybe you're going to use the actual beast crafts for something relevant um, you know these flask mods may come in use 30% quality is always good um, if you're really strapped for some currency, uh, for orbs of fusing and whatnot, maybe that's worth your fancy. Maybe you want to remove a random prefix and maybe you want to add a prefix and remove a random suffix. You know, th and there's other crafts here that are, you know, decent, you know, 23% gems, uh, fully think six socket rare, tw level 20. These are, these are all great things to want to achieve. Um, the aspect crafts, uh, obviously the only real redeeming only the truly redeeming quality of using the menagerie. Realistically, I actually don't even know why this content is in core aside from having the aspect crafts. Um, yeah, maybe they can just be, well they can, they are, they are craftable on the things using harvest. I would say maybe, maybe the GGG going forwards, um, make the harvest mechanic permanent, that's fine, for the hardcore players, and get rid of the menagerie. Um, could potentially be a, a good PIO to um, to consider because I can't really see the advantage of this at this stage. Anyway, if this video was amusing and entertaining, entertaining by the way, I'm not even going to price check these. The only thing that's really worth anything that I can see out is 10% quant um, Satimus Touch, um, which if we price check it, what we got here, how much is, are these worth? Yeah, probably get five to ten chaos out of them. That's pretty much it. Everything else is like one chaos piece. There's nothing here that's really special in any way, shape, or form. But they will prove to be very good at getting elks because they're obviously unique items and they'll trade for elk components. Anyway, uh, until next time. Uh, oh, if you didn't mind the video, uh, like and sub, 
and uh, and if you want to see more, like and sub. And if you completely hated it and you think I'm an idiot and you love the menagerie and it's the greatest thing that's ever been put into the game, then dislike me. Anyway, until next time, bye.